you're not careful, your Grasshopper script can quickly turn into Monster But that's not what you want if you're working in larger teams or on the same script across multiple sessions. Today we're going to look at how to organize your script so that you can jump in and out really quickly. Let's get in. This simple script generates a box. The function itself isn't very important. It's more about how to organize something that's starting off so messy. And I've got a few different types of inputs here. The main one is sliders. I've also got an MD slider and also a color swatch. We can control its size, location, the rotation of the back profile, and then it simply loves the two profiles together. If you only take one thing away from this video, it has to be snapping gecko. Once you've installed it, you can toggle it on through this menu object. It gives you these really useful guidelines that can snap to pretty much any component. It makes creating a clean script an absolute breeze. There's a download link in the video description. I use scribbles to annotate my scripts. You can type it in, but it's also located here on the params tab. The way that I usually interact with it though is to type a tilde and then the title of the scribble itself. So you can double click to change the size, text and font. You need to make sure that you click exactly on the scribble to move it. You can't tap Alt to create a copy, you need to use Control C and V. And holding down Shift will rotate the scribble around. Grouping is another excellent organization method. What you need to do is hit your middle mouse wheel, hit this icon, and then your selected components will be contained in this group. There's a few different visibility options, so you can blob it or have this rectangle outline, but I usually just use the box outline. You can also change the color of your groups. I like to change the alpha value just a little bit lower. I'll show you what that does later. You can also make it a default once you're happy with the color. We can add things quickly to a group by selecting a component, right clicking on the group, and hitting add to group. It's the same process for removing from a group. You can also group a group and with that alpha value changed, you get this nice color difference between the two layers. A common convention is to cluster your parametric controls on the left hand side of your script. I definitely recommend renaming these sliders or inputs just to make it easier to use. In this case, where we've got several controls spread throughout the script. We can use these alignment widgets to quickly get things over to the left and selecting all of them again using this icon to distribute them. I'd recommend that you play around with these by yourself. They're really intuitive once you've used them a few times. I also like to finish off by grouping and annotating. Quite often we'll have a key parameter which appears several times throughout a script. In something this small it's not really needed but on larger scripts you can use telepathy allows you to set up a sender and a receiver. So we'll hook up one of the values to the sender and also drop a receiver down. Now you want to give the sender a unique name. Then go to your receiver, right click, go to keys, and you can find that value that you've just entered. And this allows you to quickly send your parameters across the script. It also allows you to remove any of those duplicate controls from the control panel. There are some cases where we don't need to retain parametric control. So here we're simply evaluating the middle. So I can right click, internalize data, and that stores that value there. So even if we delete the control, the value is still in the component. One of the consequences of this control panel is these long lines across the canvas. Make sure that your inputs are properly labeled. And go to your component, right click, go to wire display, and you've got these three options to choose from. So faint will give you that slight line and hidden will completely hide the line altogether. You can quickly find where those lines are again by clicking either the input or the component itself. MetaHopper also has some great tools for wire display. So if you go to this control wire display component, it allows you to select several components, hit the select button, Right click on the wire display and choose between those same three options. It will change everything at once. They've also got this wire display toggle. So if you hook up a Boolean toggle, you can quickly unhide all of those wires again. 
Right off the new components will bunch up. If you hold down Alt and click and drag, you'll be able to create more space. If you tap Alt with the mouse button still pressed down, it'll change the direction. Sketching is a feature that I don't really use, but you may want to. It allows you to make any mark you want on the canvas. I find that grouping and scribbles does a much cleaner job of this. So that's it for today. Is there something that you do to keep your scripts organized? I'd love to know about it. Let me know below. Thanks for watching.